Hey, how is everyone? Lou from RV Habit. Today I'm going to do a little generator maintenance on my Cummins Onan 4000. And the number one thing you can do to maintain these is actually run them. They love to be used. It's when you don't use them that you run into problems. So I recommend exercising this at least every two to three weeks under load for about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, that'll keep this trouble free usually and you know you need to change the oil every year or 100 hours of use whatever comes first and I also recommend I, I give this a seafoam treatment I did a video on it I'll leave a link up above but I do that once or twice a year and that keeps the carburetor spotless it's a that's a great great uh, treatment for the engine but today we're going to change the fuel filter now they say change it every 500 hours but I don't use my generator that often 500 hours would take me several years to get to and I don't like to leave the fuel filter in longer than two years because it does begin to rust and I don't want it to get stuck in the fuel pump and I don't want it to start to leak so today it's been two years I'm gonna change the fuel filter and it's real easy it goes on with a 916 socket piece of cake and you just use a little uh, permatex thread sealant on it now the other thing I suggest Buy genuine parts and if you don't have a local dealer near you we can get genuine Cummins owning parts I'll leave links below where you can get genuine Cummins owning parts they're not that expensive and you'll really you don't want to put uh, stuff that's inferior on here because again you just run into problems so buy genuine parts but this is really really easy we're gonna go underneath I'll show you how to do it Okay, so what you're looking at here is the side of the generator below it, and this is the fuel line coming into it. Put this wire loom up here, get this out of the way. And it's got a little clamp on it that goes onto the fuel filter, and that's the first thing we'll take off. Okay, so when we pull this fuel line off, it's going to leak, so we need to crimp it. You could put a, a plug in it or something. I like to just take two little pieces of wood, and all I do is put a pair of vice grips on it, and that'll stop it from leaking, just like that. There we go. And that's that. Now we have the fuel line off and you can see the end of the fuel filter sticking through here. And this is just a, a rubber grommet. You can actually you can actually remove this and make it easier. And you can see the entire fuel filter. Now this, look at this fuel filter. This is two years old and look at the rust on it. And that's what I'm talking about, trying to get that off. So again, it's a 916 socket deep well and we'll get that on there deep as it'll go and just go slow and it should break free and mine did break free rather easily Okay, and I probably can get that by hand now. And you can kind of muscle it through there. And of course, be careful with it because it is full of fuel when you take it out. But you could see how bad that has rusted. So that's why I take them off every two years. I don't want this to break apart and then it'll be a big project to get it off and it'll be, might have to get a new fuel pump and other things. So now we're gonna just put the new one on. It's uh, one out, one in. 
So here's the new fuel filter, and I'm going to put just a little um, Permatex high temperature thread sealing on it. And you just want to put it at the very, very bottom and only about three quarters of the way around. And that's it. Okay, let's go back underneath and put this in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to weevil it in there. It kind of just fits in there. Go into the threads and do it by hand. You're going to start this by hand. And there we go. It just grabbed. And it'll move pretty easy. And just this way you know you're not cross threading it. And once you got it on there, get your socket back on. And you'll feel it start to snug up. And you don't want it too tight. And that's it. I'm going to get my grommet back on. That just presses in. That's it. Grommet's in. Now I'm going to get my fuel line back on. That'll just push on like that. And let's see. Get my clamp back on. Here we go. And that is going to be it. I'll we'll finish tightening this up. It's plenty good. Put my wire loom back on to protect the fuel line. And we're all done. And of course you're going to start it. You're going to check for leaks, make sure nothing's leaking. And it's as easy as that. So that's a fuel filter to change. It literally takes 10 minutes of your time. It's worth doing at least every two years. You saw the condition of the bad one. Uh, again, I'll leave links below for all genuine Cummins owning parts if you have a hard time finding them. As always, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. I'll see you soon.